Hey friends, in today's video, I'm going to show you my top 10 plush sales that sold from $75 to $200. Let's join in. Hey plushies. Wait, that sounded wrong. Hey friends, and welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie, and I've been an online reseller since 2002. Welcome to my still unnamed channel. Right now, I'm just going by my name. So basically, I'm like Madonna or Cher or just Jack. This is my sleepy sidekick, Nova, and let's be for real, she is the real star of this channel. Uh, I just want some of that Ryan's World money. Last year, I really started getting into reselling plush. I don't think enough resellers talk about how crazy profitable reselling plush can be. Typically, you only hear about clothing, which if you live in an area like I do, the fanciest store you have is Ann Taylor Loft. You aren't going to be able to find a whole lot to resell. And though I love finding home goods, a lot of what I find is from our fanciest home store, which is Target. The great thing about reselling plush is that you can typically find it for $3 or less at thrift stores and yard sales. And unlike clothing, the older the item, the better. In this video, I'm going to talk about my top 10 plush sales from this last year. I cross-list everything to eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace, because you never know where your buyer will be. If you want to know how to quickly cross post without a listing service, I'll link my video on how to do just that down below. Let's jump in the plush bin. Number 10. This is a Disney Magali Jungle Book plush. I actually paid up for this. I found him at a consignment sale, the kind that comes and goes like a state fair. I paid $6 for him and he sold in a few days. Disney plush is almost always a good seller as long as it isn't your common Mickey or Minnie and the odd characters like this half naked boy sell really good. This one also sold for $75. This is a Hubert bear plush. Typically, I don't look up plain brown bears, but this guy was from Toys R Us, which has gone the way of Blockbuster, so I knew he was old, and lots of people have nostalgic memories of going to Toys R Us when you're a kid and picking out a treasure. Not us, we were poor. We went to Kmart. Anyways, I always look up Toys R Us items. They will be marked Animal Alley, so look them up. Number eight is a Build-A-Bear Purple Candy Pop Bear. She's a pretty plain bear, so not many people would seem to think to look her up. I paid $4 from her from the thrift store, and she sold overnight. She had her matching outfit, which was a bonus. Number seven is the Miss Noah Bunny Rabbit plush. There were zero comps on this when I bought it for $2, but I got it because I could tell it was vintage from the style of the eyes and the rosebud print dress. I had it listed for $200, and it sat for a while, so I reran the comps, and I listed it at the highest price that this brand has sold. And it sold in a few hours. Number six, for $100, I sold this Wind in the Willows Frog plush. Obscure characters almost always sell. I found this guy at a thrift store for a dollar, and he sold in about a week. I had him listed on eBay also, but there were other sellers that had the same one, which is why is it important to cross post to Mercari, where you will have less competition on the same item. Number five, for $120. This is the plush that started it all for me. I don't have a screenshot of this with my sold price on eBay since it sold in the summer of last year and eBay doesn't keep pages available past 90 days. This is where I found out that plush can sell for as much money as I paid for a Fleetwood Mac ticket. My sister used to watch the big comfy couch when she was little, so I knew who this character was immediately. I actually found another one of these last week, but she is a nudist, so she won't sell for as much. Number four, for $120, this is the Thai Scoundrel Beanie Buddy. This is not a beanie baby, and this sale is why I continue to always look up Thai Buddies and Pluffies. Buddies are larger than beanie babies and typically have long plush fur. Pluffies have microfiber textured fabric, and those are also great sellers. This is a rare find for this style of dog. I took an offer of $120 from a mom who was trying to replace her son's lost puppy. Replacing lost stuffies is probably the number one reason for high price sales. I'm just over here waiting for some kid to lose their precious plush. I'm basically a Disney villain or a hero, whatever way you want to look at it. Number three is $120 Build-A-Bear Werewolf. This guy was my first big Build-A-Bear plush sale, and this is when I realized that Build-A-Bear could bring such big profits. And you would want to run out in the streets and howl at the moon about your big sales. But 
I won't do that because my neighbors are already scarred from me going to get my mail and my crazy cat lady rope in the middle of the afternoon. I paid a whopping $1 for him. I did have a lot of low balls on him, but I held out until I got my price because I knew what he was worth. Number two. This is a $175 Funko Five Night at Freddy's plush. I found this at another kid's consignment sale. I paid $6 for this one, and I didn't have time to look him up. But I knew Five Night at Freddy and Funko Brands are valuable, so I grabbed him. I was shocked and awed when I looked up his previous sales. None were available at the time, so I made a price that was in line but slightly higher than previous sales. It took a few weeks to sell, but the return on this one was amazing. $200 Eden Teddy Bear Plush. Oh my gosh, I was so excited when I saw this at the store that shall not be named. I didn't even have to look it up because I knew exactly what it was as soon as I clapped eyes on it. Eden is a very collectible brand. I think this one was made in the 80s, and this bear also came in primary colors. They also make licensed characters and other collectible stuffed toys. I think across the board, any Eden plush is a pickup, and I've sold other items from this brand that I'll talk about in future videos. That's it, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. I would love it if you would comment down below your best plush sale. Or if you're just getting started, please let me know what kind of videos you'd like me to make in the future. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>